The Princess Elizabeth Challenge Cup now between Eton College on the Berkshire Station and Great Marlow School on the Buckinghamshire Station. Attention goes as the umpire and a roar here from Great Marlow School Cox is Monty Todd who says draw, draw, draw. Great Marlow School made history yesterday as the uh, first crew from Great Marlow to win a Henley Royal Regatta event. So Steve Redgrave was watching on. We got some great pictures of that. Um, but they've drawn today maybe one of the giants of the schoolboy rowing world. Yeah, if giant killing's the flavour of the day, then this would be the largest of them all. Great Marlow taking on the might of Eton College. They are one of the home favourites and look, showing their style in the opening exchanges here. They've already got a length. But Great Marlow, what a wonderful story. And so Steve, we spoke to him before the regatta and we asked him, you know, what are you most looking forward to? All the, the range of crews, the diversity, the wealth, the experience that have come over to race at Henley Royal Regatta. And he said, my old friends from Great Marlow School. That's what he was looking forward to seeing most, and I'm sure he'll be out there watching his boys do their best again. But Eton at the moment, I mean, they are a hell of a crew, and then such so competitive always at Henley Royal Regatta. So Eton College continue to move away now in the second half of this race, the Princess Elizabeth Challenge Cup. And you can see there, bound pair from Eton College, Inigo Shorrock and James Ginsburg in the bound pair. Moving forward, Edward Mulhunt Prost, Arthur Scott, Skylar Audley Williams in the 5C, Alexander Perkins, Louis Clark, Samuel Lonis, and Alexander Coombs there in the Cox's seat, getting a nice low um, sort of position there to cox them down the course now one thing about eton college you know you probably heard even if you're not familiar with rowing and you're tuning in listening to us here you know eton college is the school of uh, princes of politicians uh, a huge huge kind of list of alumni um, but they've also got a huge pedigree in rowing and their name has been on the princess elizabeth challenge cup many many times um, but more, more so in the last eight years they won 50 percent of the princess elizabeth challenge cup finals in the last eight years so half times in the in the last eight years eaten of one's event and tom i know for you this crew is probably one of your your favorites uh, for the regatta but jumping back now to great marlow school i say it was a, a history etched day for them yesterday and we had to see watching from the finish line uh, for their race um, i can't see him there from our commentary position at the moment today um, but already a huge moment in history for them 100 percent. i look through the ages of this crew you know you've got a connor quan in the sixth seat who's 15 Scott by monty todd 16 adam the uh, augustin and sam terra both 16 years old this won't be the last time we see them at henley royal regatta and that's the beauty of an event like this it's aspirational in the purest sense of the word you can have a run down the course you can enjoy that row and you can just think Do you know what let's come back next year and that's what keeps me coming back my 12th year being here at henley royal having not competed since you know 2014 but just the unique energy the atmosphere the environment that cultivates champions great marlow school will absolutely want to come back fighting in years to come but like you say eton college a class outfit always competitive at henley royal regatta four of the last eight like you point out they're getting to a point now where they view this cup as theirs by right there's by dominance the fact that they always peak their program for Henley Royal and I think they've got a previous winner there in the five seat Shula Audley Williams won this event in 2021 the year after the COVID pandemic so he's back for redemption after a semi-final exit in 2022 and he'll have his eye on the prize in an attempt to try and win the Princess of the Challenge Cup for yeah the year will be the fifth time in nine years so there'll be plenty of Eton fans in the crowd, but I'm sure also plenty of great Marlowe School fans to cheer them home, um, having made it through a round here with the Princess Elizabeth Challenge Cup. A proud day for them and a proud day for Eton as well, crossing the line here uh, ahead of Mar Great Marlowe School. Eton will uh, put on a nice show over the finish line there. Lovely bit of balance on display as they watch back and wait for Great Marlowe School to uh, cheer them over the line and it will be the end of their Henley campaign. But like you say, Tom, so many young athletes in this boat, I'm almost certain we'll see them back to contest in this event once again. 100%. Aspiration in its purest form. It's going to be a, a wonderful experience for those boys.